Okay, so let's look at how you can get to the audio editor in each of the Articulate products. If you're using Storyline, which is what we're looking at here, you can get to the audio editor in a few different ways. My favorite is a shortcut where you go to the timeline below your slide and you just double click on any sound object that's in your timeline, like this one right here. If I double click that, it's going to open up that sound clip right in the audio editor so I can make any changes that I need. Another way to get to the same place is to right click on the sound object and choose audio editor. Or I can go over here off to the left of my slide and find the speaker icon. There's going to be one of these for each sound clip that I've added to my base layer of my slide. I can right click that and choose audio editor. So all three of those methods are going to get me to the same place. Now if you have some layers on your slide, like on this slide I've got a correct layer and an incorrect layer for my feedback on the quiz question, I can also open up any layers audio in the same way. I just go to the layer and then I can double click on the sound on the timeline to open up the audio editor. Or I can right click on the sound and choose audio editor. Or I can right click on the speaker icon and choose audio editor. Now if your slide layer is part of the feedback on a quiz question, there's even another way that you can open the layers sound in the audio editor. From the base layer, what you can do is click on this edit button above your trigger panel. That's going to open up the question editor. And then you just look for the feedback area of the question editor. In this question, it's down here at the bottom. And you can see that there's a more button next to each feedback element. And if I click on that, I'm going to see an audio area right here in the lower left. And there's an icon. It looks kind of like um, a waveform profile. And I can click on that, and that's going to allow me to edit the sound for that particular part of the feedback on this question. So that's how to open the audio editor in Storyline. Let's take a look at QuizMaker next. QuizMaker is kind of similar. What you want to do is open up a question. And if you're in Slide View, you can right click on the speaker icon and choose Audio Editor. Or if your timeline is visible, let me just go ahead and open it by clicking in the lower right corner, you can find the sound clip on the timeline and right click and choose Audio Editor. You can even get to your sound from Form View too. So if we switch to Form View, you can go to the Sound drop down and then choose Edit Sound. That's going to get you to the same place. And then one more place that you might choose to have audio in QuizMaker is in your feedback pop ups, right? And if you do, you can edit that sound as well. You just go to Form View like we are here and then click on any of these more buttons in the feedback area of your question editor. And when the feedback window appears, this lower left corner, again, just like Storyline, is where you'll find the sound. And you can click on this little icon here to edit the audio associated with that feedback. Okay, what about Articulate Engage? Well, the audio editor is available there too. What you can do is go to any specific segment or tab or step of your interaction, or if you've got a timeline interaction like what we see here, you can go to any um, event along the timeline, right? Like we see here, you can just click on these events. And you'll want to look for the audio area of the interface. In my interaction, it's right here above where I've added a picture or a movie to my um, event on the timeline. And I could just click on this little icon here to edit the audio that's associated with that event. And lastly, let's look at how we can get to the audio editor in Articulate Presenter. I've got a presentation open right here, and we're just going to come up to the Articulate menu and then select Audio Editor. And what this is going to do is it's going to show us all the audio for each slide in the presentation. And once it opens up here, you'll see you know, all the audio for the entire project. It's kind of like a thousand foot view. And if I wanted to zero in on just the audio for a specific slide, I could use these thumbnails over here at the left and just select a thumbnail, and that is going to select just the audio for that particular slide. So that's how you can access the audio editor from any of your Articulate tools. And in the next screener, we're going to take a look at the features within the audio editor and some ways that you can use them.